Hello, welcome back. In the last video, I discussed about uh, the equation of a circle and what conic section means. Now, in this video, we are going to look at um, finding the type of conic section and graphing it. Okay, let us start with one example. So this is an example or this is the equation. So what does the equation say? It says, uh, it says x squared plus y squared minus 4x uh, plus 6y minus 4 equal to 0. So whenever we see an equation like this, and if the coefficient of x and y are constant, here in the case of x squared, the coefficient is 1, and the coefficient of y squared is 1. This should give you a uh, sufficient hint to tell you this probably is an equation of a circle. Now, in the previous video, I told you the equation of a circle, uh, the general equation of a circle is like this. So if you think about it, if we expand this, you can, uh, the left hand side, you can understand this will be x squared minus 2xa plus a squared, and this will be y squared minus 2 yb plus b squared is equal to r squared. So there if you can uh, visualize the expansion, x squared and y squared would have the same uh, coefficient. And that's why when you have an equation like this, and if the coefficients are equal, this is or this is most probably the equation of the circle. So what's the next step? And the next step what I've done is I've grouped the x's together. So here you've got an x squared and here you've got a minus 4x. So I've grouped them together. And I've grouped the y squareds together. So the y squareds, also the y's. So you've got a y squared here and you've got a 6y here. So that I've grouped as y squared plus 6y. And uh, I have added 4 to this side. So if I add 4 to this side, I have to add 4 to the right hand side. So this gets cancelled, my negative, negative 4 and positive 4 gets cancelled and 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay, so what's the next step? <clears throat> the next step, I have put three blanks here, I want you to think about it. I want to make this a perfect square. If you have heard my videos, previous videos, uh, I have showed you, I have shown you how to write a perfect square or completing a square. That's what it's called. So if you look at x squared minus 4x, what should come here? So that this whole thing becomes a perfect square. So, well, I look at this number. So the half of 4 is negative 2, and uh, negative 2 squared is 4. So if I write a 4 here, this becomes a perfect square. But if you write 4 on one side, to nullify this or to cancel this, what you do is you add 4 to the other side. Okay, the same argument is here. You have got y squared plus 6y, so the half of 6 is 3 and square of 3 is 9. So if you write a 9 here, this will become a perfect square. And as I have added 9 to this side, I have added 9 to this side. So basically, if you look at this step, I have added 13 to this side and 13 to the right, right hand side. Okay. So let us move on. Let us look at the next step. So the next step, basically, I've rewritten that step, x squared minus 4x plus 4, that's a perfect square, y squared plus 6y plus 9 is a perfect square, and this is nothing but the same thing, 4 plus 4 plus 9. Okay, what's the next step? So now this has become a perfect square of x minus 2 squared, and this has become a perfect square of y plus 3 squared. If you think in a different way, if you factorize this, which are the two numbers, or which are the two factors of 9, which adds up to give you a 6. So you should be knowing they are plus 3 and plus 3. So this is 
y plus 3 times y plus 3. In the same way, which are the two factors of 4, which gives you negative 2, they are negative 2 and negative 2. So you can write x minus 2 times x minus 2, and that's why we write x minus 2 squared. And 7 plus 7, sorry, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 9 is 17. So, now this is very similar to the general form of the circle. Now this is the uh, general form of the circle, x squared, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Now, in the next step what I've done is I've just written this so that I can compare this with this. So x minus 2 squared, I've written x minus 2 squared, and y plus 3, the whole squared is same as y take away negative 3, because you take away negative is same as adding. If you look at, if you compare this with this, I hope you can see, A can be compared with 2, B can be compared with negative 3, and R can be compared with root 17. Okay, hopefully you know, root 17 times root 17 gives you 17. So let us, let me show you that. So, uh, uh, I can't move this. Yeah, there we go. So, let me move this up. So, menu 1. So, shift square root of 17 times uh, shift square root of 17 is equal to 17. Okay. Hopefully, you know that. So, close. Okay, now yeah, what's the next step? The next step is, I just written what is A, what is B, and what is R. So, this is a circle with center 2, negative 3, where A is 2 and B is negative 3, because it has a center of A, comma B, so that is 2, comma negative 3, and radius of 4.1, and because the square root of 17 is 4.1. Okay. Now I've drawn a sketch of the circle. So the center is 2, negative 3. So this is 2 and this is negative 3. That's the center. And you go 4.1 to all the four sides. So you can I'll uh, show on one side. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, point 0.1. Just over 4. This is just over 4, just over 4. So all the radius, all the radii are 4. Let me draw a line so that you can see. So this is a radius of 4, this is a radius of 4, oh sorry, 4.1, this is a radius of 4.1, and this is a radius of 4.1. And here we go, this is a circle. The circle is not the best of the circles. Now, uh, the graphic calculator uh, can draw the whole circle without, I can tell you the center and the radius. But uh, you should know how the calculator works. So now I'll show you how the calculator works for you. So same thing, you open up your graphic calculator. You go to the conic section. So this is your conic section. And if you scroll down, now this is a circle. Uh, so here A, uh, A are the coefficient of x squared and y squared. That you can understand is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is negative 4. C is the coefficient of y, which is 6. And D is the constant, which is negative 4. So we need to enter. So A, repeat, is 1. B is negative 4. C is 6. And uh, D is negative 4. So if you enter that and if you draw it, Okay, so let me make a bigger scale so that you can see the whole circle. I'll make it standard of 10 by 10. So here is a circle. This circle doesn't look like a circle, uh, but this is a circle because the scale is not near the pixel. Uh, uh, the width is doubled and the height, and that's why it looks like an ellipse. But it is a circle. So you go G saw the center. The center is 2, negative 3. Here we are. And the radius, if you type in uh, F2, that is 4.12. And I've written 4.1 as a decimal. 
this also uh, sorry this also gives you the x intercepts and the y intercepts which we are not drawn so these are the two x intercepts and uh, it also tells you the y intercepts y intercept this is one y intercept this is the other y intercept hopefully this has been helpful thank you very much